buddy. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Hello everybody, my name is the Bunny Gamer and welcome back to the death battle. So, in this death battle, we have Semi Jack vs. Afro Samurai. Now, I do know of Semi Jack, but I do not know about. I mean, not about. I mean, I do not know Afro Samurai. You know, it's from another anime, which of course I never heard before or nothing. Um. So, yeah, so. I look at all the things about Afro, Gem Afro Samurai, the way they were talking about him, um, what he does, and how his moves are, and things he survived, and all that. So, I am still going to vote for Samurai Jack for this one, but I am scared, because I'm, I'm voting for Samurai Jack, and I'm scared that he's going to lose. So, I'm not sure how those battles will go. Oh, and I'm going to turn the motion first. Okay. If you guys watch, watch this in the HD thing, go ahead and put the video thing below. That way you can watch it there. So, Anyways, let's get the battle started. 3, 2, 1, go. Ah, there's some more Jack. Ah, it's this animation. Nice. I like this animation already. Oh. Your sword smells of blood. So does yours. Fight! this already. Oh, you can't see. Okay, he can still fight without seeing. Huh, you jump good. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, just take their shirt off. Both of his arms. Ooh. Oh, God. Watch out. KO. So, like, is KO. he gonna get his arm back? Afro was an exceptional warrior, and his skills would absolutely dominate most sword fights. However, Jack has had a lot of experience with opponents who fight dirty, and Afro could not stand up to his physical superiority. Yeah, Afro never showed strength like how Jack lifted that 39-ton boulder. 
Jack could react as fast as 70% the speed of light. Afro did block that light speed laser beam, but based on the distance between him and the Afro droid, he only needed to react around 21% the speed of light to do this, still putting him at impressive relativistic speeds, but not even half as quick as uh, Jack. His, also, his while his. Afro survived that mega-sized RPG explosion, don't forget how Jack survived a fall from orbit. While it does seem the spacesuit was responsible for Jack's surviving re-entry, it certainly can't be held solely accountable for the final impact. Starting his descent from the Kármán line, or the boundary between Earth's atmosphere and space, Jack covered a distance of 62 miles in just under 7 seconds, moving well over terminal velocity. Thanks to being propelled by exploding space beam! Which means his top velocity was approximately 37,000 miles per hour. Adding wow. the spacesuit's weight to his own, this means his impact force must have equaled about 19 megatons of force. Wow. Way more than anything Afro survived. Uh, and then he just got up and walked away. Badass. In the <laughs> end, Jack was just too fast, too strong, too tough, and too well trained for Afro to <clears throat> handle. The winner is Samurai Jack. Thanks for watching. If you guys want exclusive commentary on the episode, just click that little box right over there. And if you want the battle music from this episode, you can get it by clicking the link in the description. Alright, what's the next death battle? Connage versus Lucy. If it lied, is what she's from. Oh, Carnage, he looks familiar. He, he looks like Venom, but more way different than Venom. But I, I don't know who Carnage is. I do watch, I do watch the Marvel movies, but I never, I never read the comics. Like, not all of them. I was born in 1999, so. I wasn't really there at that time when I wasn't really at that time when the comics first come out and come very popular. I was just there with the Marvel Marvel movies, so. but yeah. So that battle was pretty good. I liked the animation, the way they did it. It was really really good. So that fight was pretty awesome, and really dirty. Yeah. So, Samurai Jack beaten Afro Samurai. The next time was Carnage, if if that's how I pronounce his name right, I don't know. And versus Lucy from Alfred Lied, which I've never seen or heard before. Oh, I never heard of Carnage either. So, I am not sure who I'm going to vote for. Either way, I don't both, I don't both, I don't even know them both, so. So yeah, so, next up that was Conjure vs. Lucy. And put your comments to who you think is going to win, and tell me why you choose that person. Or creature. Or whatever. <laughs> so. Sorry I've not been uploading videos, because, uh, like, well, I'll explain in a different video, so, um, so, thanks so much for watching, like, if you like this video, comment, subscribe, bring a game around, I'll see you all in the next video, bye bye!